You're listening to KWUR Clayton 90.3 FM. This is Jack. I'm here at 1 a.m. now because I took a bad time. I'm playing an all local show. There's some people here. And uh, this is Do Gooder by Little Big Bangs. There's a lot of feedback coming from someone. This is uh, just a reminder that uh, you are listening to KWUR Clayton 90.3 FM uh, and that the views and language heard in the following songs are not necessarily representative of KWUR Clayton, uh, Washington University, or its administration and may be offensive to some listeners. University College Radio is and always has been something super special. Um, I think that's because it's so unmoored from any commercial interest. Uh, KWER is one of the last remaining, like, completely student-run radio stations in the country. We don't play ads. We don't, like, the only money we get comes from the university, but, like, we don't have a whole lot of financial needs. We just need to keep the airwaves going, and I think that allows us to have a much more unique sound. University radio has always sort of, like, existed in a complimentary way to Top 40 radio. Like, I think it has always had sort of, like, an independent sort of underground following, so I don't think that it has ever had the purpose of being sort of, like, the mainstream driving force, and I think that that permits a lot of what makes it so special is that it's, like, the people who tune in are, like, tuning in for a a really specific community, and, like, we have the freedom to provide that because we're not sort of, like, broadcasting to this mass audience. Um... So I think in a lot of ways, like, that is what makes it really successful, and that's what gives it permanence, is that there will always be people who want that, but it will always be a small number. I mean, there are so many avenues to hear and express your love for mainstream music in this world that to have a space where you can not only, like, where where you're kind of forced to get out of your comfort zone a little bit, like... uh, you know, like, it's important to have things like that. You know, there's got to be someone out there pushing you to be like, hey, like, I know you like this. And, like, that's awesome that you like this. But have you listened to this as well? Have you support, you know, have you checked this out? Like, there's there's nothing wrong with having someone there to kind of remind you that there's more out there than what you already know, I guess. Everybody talks about, like, the washu bubble, of course. Um... And we're, we're very cognizant of that and trying to push the boundaries of this bubble and pushing people to break it a little, whether it's by, like, going to local shows and engaging that way or listening to things that you wouldn't hear anywhere else um, but that are happening, like, either locally or outside of the mainstream. I've grown up in St. Louis, lived here my whole life, and I'd never been to a house show where I didn't feel in danger. Uh, and joining k like really helped me understand like the St. Louis music and arts community has a lot to offer. I, I don't think I would have known any anything about that if I hadn't have joined k And I think that that's what other uh, students can get from this organization like apart from the things I mentioned about like a sense of community and belonging and and connection over the wonderful thing that is music uh but also just if you really get deep into it there's so much about St. Louis and St. Louis art that you can learn because you spend so much time thinking about these shows thinking about your music the music you're interested in it just sort of creates this thing where you're critically thinking about the same thing with a lot of people and then it just immediately creates bonds right away that are really deep and really um important i mean it's it's just a way to get your voice out there so if you want to come here and you want to read a book if you want to you know have philosophical discussions just and and have it feel on air like that is something you are that's something kara wants you to do kara wants you to come in and say, this is what I want to do, you're going to help me do it.